Hello beautiful creative friends, it is Belinda and I'm back with a brand new process video to share with you today. I'm working with a Hip Hip collection, I believe this was August 2022, and a piece from Bramble Fox, which was that summer word that I showed you there. Um, I've chosen a color palette that is some blues and some yellows. It's documenting a story from earlier in this year, a summer story of my son and my dad. Uh, on some paddle boats at a local restaurant. So I've created my base for this layout by matting some white cardstock onto that light blue pattern paper. I've used my sewing machine to add a border, but I was showing it to you there because I've I added something a little bit different. I used a darker blue thread and on each of the corners, I've just run my machine back and forth a couple of times just to add a little bit of extra interest in each of those corners. Uh, I think, actually, I don't think I did it in each corner. I just did it on two opposite corners. Yeah. So I have three photos. Uh, they were taken from quite a long way away. So I did zoom them in a little bit before I printed them, but they are still quite small. So to really highlight them, I've grabbed these, these frames that were in one of the ephemera packs that came with this hip kit collection. And there were three of them that went really well together. One is slightly larger, the other two are a little bit smaller. And I thought I would use those to frame each of those photos, which really just helps to draw into the main part, well, what the photo is all about, which is my son and my husband on the paddle boats. Um, we were, my husband, my dad on the paddle boats. We were there for my dad's birthday. There's a really big lake, it's a winery that's quite close to where we live. And there's a really big lake. I had these paddle boats. Um, the kids had great um, plans to go on the paddle boats, but then when it came time, uh, most of them were too scared because they're quite low to the water, uh, but not my son. My son was right into it. As soon as dad made the offer of taking him out, he was there and he had a great time. In, in the photos in real life, you can see that he's just got such a happy look on his face, but obviously you're probably not going to see that here uh, on camera. So to add a little bit of dimension behind each of these photos, I've just grabbed some chipboard. This is just something that came, I, I collect the pieces of chipboard that come when I get things delivered all of the time, cardstock packs, or if you order anything that's got patterned paper, a lot of the time they'll add these chipboard sheets in. And I keep those because they are perfect for adding dimension. I'm trying to avoid using the the fun foam or the kids foam now because it's just a little bit too bulky and I've become quite conscious of how thick my layouts are because albums are very expensive to purchase in Australia and I want to make sure that when I'm putting layouts away into the albums I'm getting as many in as I possibly can so that chipboard is perfect for adding a little bit of dimension. Now I had a really clear idea in mind of what I wanted for this layout. So happily, this is a project that came together really quickly and quite easily. I've grabbed these pattern papers from the kit. Uh, this one here really gave me those wavy water uh, vibes. So that was definitely gonna make it. I wanted to add some uh, strips of pattern paper through the middle and then I'm going to add a little bit of mixed media in the background I just wanted to give it a really organic Feeling like you're on the water like there's a lot of movement. There's you know, it's soft. It's textural So the papers that I chose reflected that they are quite soft and muted in color one of the things that also came in the kit, there was a whole bunch of fringe or die cut pieces so I grabbed this little fringe piece here and I I can't remember at this point whether or not it makes it on the layout. So here's the mixed media that I'm going to add. I haven't added any gesso to the background because I'm not, I know that I'm not going to add a huge amount of water. So I'm not worried too much about the paper warping. I've got a relatively wide brush here. I'm trying to make it quite light and I'm just lightly going to brush that across the middle. You can see that there's no, no gesso because you can see that water soaking into the cardstock. But once it's dried, it's all good. And it's just a really soft and subtle background there. Uh, and because I've used very little water, it's going to dry really quickly. I did go in and add some splatters as well. And now I've got some Primo. It's, light, it's a light modeling paste and a little stencil that came from a company called Uniquely Creative here in Australia. I've got a few of these. They're fantastic for adding just little bits of detail. And this is like a diamond check pattern. 
And I've just added that in three different places. And off camera, I went and I adhered those strips down onto the background. I've used that same blue thread to add some stitching across the middle of each of them. And it might have been too quick for you to see there, but you will definitely see it in the close up photos. I have also used some white thread to add some messy stitched detail on a couple of the pieces of those strips. Again, I was really going for lots of texture, lots of movement in this layout and I really, really love it. It's, it's a, I, yeah, I'm really happy with this layout. Uh, so I originally thought that I would put that large photo in the middle, but uh, when I was sort of playing around and figuring out where everything was going to go, I realized that I'd need to have it off to the side so that I had a spot to put my title down. Now this piece here, this was this is from Bramble Fox. It says summer. As you can see, it was very, very fine and it broke apart while I was playing with it, but it wasn't an issue at all because I was able to adhere it back together once I stuck it down on the page and there's no issues and you can't even tell that there are any breaks in it at all. Uh, so that's the word summer and then I used the alpha which is from the hip kit and wrote the word paddling. I was going to have, I was going to have the title be summer paddling fun but I just couldn't figure out how to fit the word fun in there without overloading it so I left that out. My journaling is, I printed up, typed up on my typewriter, cut down into strips and then I've adhered that underneath the title strip journaling is definitely my favorite way of adding journaling to layouts closely followed by hidden journaling and now I'm adding the date I've grabbed one of the tags which was from the collection I've stamped the date on it using a really old Felicity Jane date stamp and then I'm just going to use my tiny stapler to add a couple of staples there and now it's time for embellishing so this kit was from August 2022 and it definitely has a real summer theme to it obviously being northern hemisphere that time of year is the end of summer for us here in Australia it's the end of winter so I kind of end up using my hip kits in the reverse order um, so the August kits I'm using to document summer in December January February so I have grabbed a few bits and pieces that I thought would go well with this layout. The palm trees felt good. There's some trees in the background. It's kind of got a tropical feel. Um, there was a piece here that there was a puffy sticker that said, look here, and then some little binoculars. I thought that was really fitting because as I said, the I took the photos from a long way away and I was just using my uh, camera, my the camera on my phone to take the photos so I couldn't really zoom in a lot without losing the quality. So those little binoculars I thought were a, a fun fitting addition. Um, I kind of was a little bit lost about where to embellish with this one because I do have the three photos. Uh, normally I would make either two big embellishment clusters on opposing corners or I might sort of work in a group of three trying to sort of make a triangle shape so that your eye moves around. So having those photos in a strip threw me a little bit um, but I don't actually go too crazy on the embellishing because I've got so much uh, texture and I've got so many elements there in the background. I didn't need to go too crazy with embellishing and I am sort of finding that at the moment more minimal embellishing like more of a minimalistic look is definitely more appealing to me right now so I'm kind of trying to hold myself back from feeling like I have to keep going and going and going and adding more uh, embellishments and I'm learning after I don't know, a decade and a half of scrapbooking, I am learning to stop when I'm happy and not just to keep going just for the sake of keeping going. So there was this uh, fabric tag piece that said making waves that I really wanted to include, but I just, I just couldn't find anywhere that it would go. Uh, so I'm going to finish off with a couple of little sprinkles. And of course, my Nouveau drops, these are the jewel drops in the pale blue. So once they're dry, they look like beautiful little water drops. I do hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have, I'd love for you to go ahead and leave me a comment or give me a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button and join me on my paper crafting adventures. I will leave you here with these close up photos and say thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.